Okay, so you're going to be opposite your team's player. Your aim is to get down to that line and then come back to this line to get a point. If you manage to stop the ball on the line you started on, you get three goals. Okay? You are not safe once you get down to that end. The, the defender could still t uh, tackle you, okay? There's four corners that have got squares in. If you can get down to that end and get into the square, that's a free zone. The defender can't come and tackle you in that zone, but you have to get back down to your end. You get one goal for that if you get into the safe zone and back. If you get down to the end and back, we'll give you three goals, okay? Make sure you try and perform one of the turns or a turn of your choice when you get down to the end. Don't just be happy that you've got there. Does that make sense? Yeah? Oscar, okay, you're gonna give us a quick demonstration of how this is gonna work. So you need to transfer the ball across and then it becomes a 1v1. Off you go, play. Good, so that's what it needs to look like. Well done, Oscar. Okay, express yourself. Play. Oh, referee, that's a foul. And stand still. Good. Quite messy, quite chaotic. What do you need to be in here? Josh, you have to be awake, so you have to be what? Head up. You have to be looking everywhere. What are you looking for in here then? There's loads of other players, isn't there? Yeah, so you, in here now, you're gonna have to be really awake. You're gonna speak to your partner. So if I was with Josh, I'd say, Josh, you done really well at this, but when you go and play your next player, you're going to try and do this better, okay? So you're going to give one person something they've done well and so they can improve off of the next one. You've got 30 seconds. I see a couple of nice things. I see you try to accelerate into space at times. So that's something you've done quite well, isn't it? Pick a new partner. Once you've found your partner, stand opposite. Yep, yeah, uh, white team will start this time. Show me what you can do. Love that, Josh. Great stop, push, turn. Can you get away from him? Can you stop the ball? Yeah, great point. Well done, young man. Okay, put your hand up if you think that you tried your hardest on what your partner told you to improve. Okay, good. We do 1v1s every week, don't we? Yeah. yeah. Tell me something that you need to be successful in a 1v1 situation. <laughs> Um, you have to be skillful. You have to be skillful. Why do you have to be skillful? Because if you've got the ball and you, it's a 1v1 <laughs> um, and you have no skills, you won't be able to get past them unless you are quicker than them. OK, tell me more about that though, because uh, you could just have some pace and you could just knock the ball into space. No. So why are skills important? Um, because if you do manage to do a skill past them um, and there's another one, you can just keep doing it or either just accelerate <laughs> And also, <coughs> if you just accelerate, um, those will be able to come to you because they, they'll know where you're going. Fantastic. So you, so you start becoming predictable, don't you? That word predictable. But if you've got loads of different skills in your locker, fantastic. They're not going to know what you're going to do, are they?